The world's first foldable wind turbine, Alizeo, can be lowered or raised in less than an hour. This wind turbine design allows it to withstand wind speeds of up to 250 km per hour in the folded position and up to 150 km per hour in the vertical position. The lifting and folding are achieved through a special hydraulic cylinder and a counterweight located at the bottom end of the rack. Folding or raising the wind generator can be done with a simple press of a button. Additional advantages of this design include the ability to service the wind turbine on the ground when it is in the folded position. Moreover, the wind generator can be easily hidden from tourists in calm weather so that they can fully enjoy the surrounding landscapes. The Alize wind turbine has a power capacity of 1 megawatt, a tower height of 50 meters, and a blade diameter of 67 meters. The French company Flying Whales will build the world's largest airship designed exclusively for cargo transportation. According to company representatives, airships will revolutionize the logistics industry. The innovation lies in the airship's ability to hover precisely over a specific location and to load and unload cargo without the need for special ground equipment. This type of air transport will be particularly relevant in the logging industry, the energy sector for delivering wind turbine blades, and during humanitarian missions. The payload capacity of the airship is impressive. It can deliver or retrieve up to 60 tons of cargo in a single flight. Moreover, this is not just a project. Flying Whales and Honeywell have already signed a contract for the supply of the first generator to power the airship. A total of four such generators will be installed on board the airship. Specialists from the Delft University of Technology, as part of the Delphi project, have developed an insect-like robot named Nimble that can cover a distance of 100 kilometers in five minutes on a single battery charge. The maximum speed of this mechanical insect is three meters per second. The robot uses four wings to control its flight in three dimensions, capable of maneuvering right, left, up, and down. Nimble achieves its maneuvers by alternately folding each pair of its wings. This technology allows it to move smoothly through the air, resembling a real flying insect. Currently, the device is used exclusively for scientific purposes, but in the future, researchers may find more practical applications for it. Makani Power is a project by Google that introduces a new type of wind turbine. The design features an airborne kite with attached wind generators. The use of a kite results in a material savings of up to 90% and allows for a 50% increase in electricity generation compared to ground-based installations. This is because the installation can ascend to 350 meters, where the power of air currents is twice as much as at the maximum height of 100 meters, which is typical for conventional wind turbines. The kite can be equipped with four to eight turbines with with propellers that generate additional lift, enabling the structure to ascend higher. As the turbines rotate, they generate energy transmitted through a cable to the ground station. The station itself serves as shelter for the installation during natural disasters. Unfortunately, due to some miscalculations, the project has been temporarily put on hold. However, the company promises to resume development of this promising technology in the near future. The main mission of Harmony Turbine is to develop compact and affordable vertical axis wind turbines to provide electricity for private homes and businesses. The average cost of installation is $2,500 and the payback period is five to seven years. In addition to their small size, Harmony wind turbines have several significant advantages over traditional installations. The patented generator design allows the system to generate energy in both low and strong winds, meaning it should continue operating when many other similar wind turbines struggle to start in low winds or have to shut down in strong winds. As a hurricane approaches, Harmony's blades automatically retract to protect against damage. Additionally, these wind turbines produce less noise during operation due to a lower range of rotations, making leisure time more comfortable. The Spanish startup X1 Wind has completed the installation of a prototype of a next-generation floating wind turbine in the Canary Islands. The design differs from other floating wind generators by having a single-point mount and lightweight tension supports. This combination allows the system to freely move with the wind and generate energy almost continuously. Additionally, due to the absence of massive and heavy metal beams used in conventional systems of this type, the overall weight of the structure is significantly reduced. The platform is assembled onshore and then towed to the installation site using small vessels. This also reduces the project cost because towing the lightweight X1 wind does not require the involvement of large, expensive towing vessels. Thanks to the vertical mooring system, the structure can be installed at various depths ranging from 60 to 500 meters. 
The Mutant Project represents a new frontier in flexible rocketry from the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. The innovation of the rocket lies in having its front part mounted on a hinge support. This allows for rapid changes in the rocket's flight direction in the air. Thanks to this capability, the weapon is capable of engaging highly maneuverable targets, including fifth-generation and higher fighter jets. To implement this solution, designers used a special hinge, similar in construction to the one installed on the vertical takeoff exhaust of the F-35B fighter. To withstand high temperatures and g-forces during sudden changes in flight direction, the rocket's casing and frame will be made from modern super-strong materials. It is expected that the final version of the development will be capable of flying at high supersonic speeds and enduring temperatures up to 900 degrees Celsius. Developers have already conducted a series of ground tests on the rocket, but work is still ongoing. Today, the construction market is experiencing intense competition. The only way to get an order is to reduce service costs. And how to achieve this? Replace people with robots. This is exactly what happened at one of the construction sites in the Chinese city of Fushan. The machines used there can wallpaper, apply various types of coatings inside and outside buildings, and deliver construction materials to the work site. The end result is not worse, and sometimes even better than that of professional builders. Automation is the most cost-effective option where expenses are reduced and the outcome meets the customer's expectations. These robots don't need a salary, they never get tired, and the defect rate is minimized. This innovative solution is likely to become popular worldwide soon, but let's not rush things. Do you want to step into a new era of civilization on Earth? That's precisely what the Chinese company GAC Group offers. They have created a futuristic transportation vehicle called GOV, capable of moving on both land and in the air. The machine consists of two parts that can function together or separately. The single passenger capsule is mounted on a four-wheel chassis. During takeoff, the unmanned vehicle deploys six columns, each equipped with two propellers. The presence of a signature autopilot allows the lower part to autonomously drive to a charging station. The flying machine also operates in unmanned mode. Technical specifications for GOV are not yet disclosed. At the moment, it's just a concept, but it has already completed its first test flight beyond the manufacturer's headquarters. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.